What's up guys, my name is Justin, welcome back to the channel today, we are back on irising for Rallycross Be The Light Fixed at Daytona Long. Uh, happy Monday, this is going to be a Monday video, so happy Monday everybody, hope you had a great weekend and you're off to a great start to the week here today. Uh, we'll see what we got here, we are the two cars, expected Tommy's in here, he's 3300, I think Tiago is like 22 or 2300, so three splits of three, we are in the top split obviously at 3100, so... Hopefully we can get a nice podium here today. See how we do. Podium would be a good result, I think. Um, hopefully we can have decent pace. Uh, you know, maybe stuff will go wrong, maybe it won't, but we should have uh, pace for a podium, I would think. But uh, regardless, hope everybody's having a great day. Oh, jeez. I'm recording this in week number 10, although you are seeing this at the beginning of week 11 already, so just trying to get some stuff backlogged because I know that I'm not going to have very much going on. Um, during week 13 this week or this season again so I wanted to have videos throughout the whole week and then give you a couple day buffer into the new season to get some new stuff recorded so probably going to be seeing this uh, you know a week and some change from now but that's okay and eh, maybe not a week from now about a week from now it's all so I don't know what this four car is doing here we're gonna try to avoid whatever that is very scary for sure Kind of gets me worried about how this uh, split's going to go if that's kind of people that are in this split, so. Felt pretty good in uh, practice and warm-up, or in the, I guess practice was warm-up, this is warm-up. In practice, felt pretty decent, ran 43.50. Uh, I think I ran 43.60 as my second best lap, so. I think that there's decent pace out here. Again, I think that Tommy's going to be faster, and it's all obviously about survival here on the starts and rally cross, but. Field of six, hopefully it goes well, it's clean, that would be ideal. Let's we'll see if we can get out of this. Somehow my 45 is still the best lap. Again, that could just be traffic or any number of things, but 43.8 there, even though we got held up in the hairpin a little bit, it's okay, so it's a decent enough lap. Again, ideal world, we'll just, you know, get singled out. Be able to save our Joker to the end, not get caught in any traffic, avoid all the messes early on here, and uh, do it that way and have it go well. But uh, obviously, it's not quite that simple ever in Rallycross, is it? So, just have to play it by ear. I feel good about where we're at. I feel uh, up to practice. We've ran uh, a lot of Rallycross lately in the season back again. It's been great to be back in the beat light for most weeks. So, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been good. Not sure how much of it we're going to do in seasons moving forward, but... We'll see what we can do. We'll get ready to go out and queue here. Again, hopefully we can just put it on the front row. I'd love to be on pole so you can protect, uh, protect drivers right and not get dive bombed, but that's not always how it works, so. I'll do my best here, give me two laps, and we'll be back in about a minute and a half. Decent first lap, not perfect. A little bit too wide there, probably cost us a couple of tenths, but feel like I got through that section again. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Alright, bog down just a little bit there. See if we can get through the hairpin a little bit better this time. Just maximize the braking force, try to get the nose pointed. Across the line it is... 43.2, so I'm very happy with that as a lap time. Uh, looks like 43.5 for Tiago, 44 flat for Tommy on his lap, so we'll see if anybody else picks up and can put a better lap than that together. Uh, but I'm happy with that so far, so we'll see uh, if there were some mistakes or what happened here, but 
We'll give it a whirl. We'll give it a try. I'm happy with the lap. Again, maybe that's a good sign that we'll be able to get out ahead and stay ahead. That would be cool. But see what Tommy puts down for his second lap here. It looks like he's the last one left. Uh, yes, he runs 43 flat. So we're going to be back to second. Knew he would have pace. Uh, he's a good driver. So whatever. Happy with that. Second is good. Like I said, if we can just kind of survive this start here, then we'll be in we'll be in pretty good shape. So we're ready to go. Hopefully everybody grids up nice and quick here. We can get rocking. Nice quick video. That'd be awesome. Only one left to grid. Good luck, all. All right, let's hope for a podium. Appreciate you all. Make sure you drop that like and a sub down below. We've gone past 200 subs, so big appreciate for that. Uh, appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, we'll see if we can continue to put out good videos, but uh, hopefully we can have a good result today. So thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed this. Let's get it. there just a little bit got out of sorts so I figured it'd be best to just get back in line in third and ride here and see what we can do perhaps these two guys will joker early and try to get some clean track and some track position which would be cool with me again I think we're all pretty tight on pace up here at the front so we got in third and we survived which is half the battle here in rally cross they're starting to get together behind us now, if we can get about a lap in here without them jokering behind us, we'll be able to clear them and not have to worry about it. So hopefully that they don't all just jump into joker here immediately. That would be bad for us, actually. Looks like they don't joker behind us, so that's good. Get some fresh air, clean space, run away here. And they're a little bit deep for Tiago. Sorry about that, Tiago. Just got in the back of him just there, just a little bit. Just overdrove the entry to that dirt corner. I think we are faster, but obviously we got to have somewhere to go, so makes it difficult right now. Leader has jokered Tommy. Let him go ahead and do that if he so chooses. Tiago sliding all over the place here. I think we are faster, but again, there's not really anywhere to go right now, so. Just making good lap time there with that alternative line to what I'm doing in the hairpin, the dirt hairpin that is. Looks like he's content to keep going, which is could be good or bad for me. I'm not sure exactly, but. We'll have to make a decision here at some point if he keeps uh, not jokering that we'll have to do something different and obviously try to get some cleaner track, but he's going to run over there. Nope, he's spun out entirely, so that actually frees us up a little bit here. We'll try to make some good lap time. Unfortunate there, that was just a slight mistake. He got stuck on the grass after landing the jump there. Happens, been there, done that, so... Now we got a nice big gap behind us. A lot of survival. The four cars already died off, so. Nothing but free space behind and in front of us, I guess, really, so. Try to put clean, good laps together here. Nicholas has had an incident. Again, I don't think we're going to catch Tommy regardless, so. It's really a moot point. 43 2 up ahead. Again, that was our very best lap in Q, so. Don't think we're catching that. Unless he has a big error or something, but again, we gotta try to keep it close, keep him honest in case he has a mistake or catches a lap car or something weird. Can't give up, so. Since I got back from my trip, uh, the Friday video from two weeks ago and then all five of last week's races, we've had podiums, which has been great, so we're on six in a row. Trying to make it seven here today with only five cars left and 
in a good spot. I like my chances unless I really blow it. So if we can finish this one out, knock on wood, this would be seven podiums in a row since I got back, which is awesome. 43.6 is okay. 43.1 for the leader. So even then, pretty good lap, decent lap. And we lost half a second. So not going to be catching him unless he has a big error or, again, something weird happens. So no pressure. Just hanging out, riding, making laps. Four to go, six down, we come back. Really enjoy Daytona as a rally cross track. If I do run more rally cross, it's probably gonna be here just because this is my favorite of the rally cross tracks. But I mean, Phoenix is okay, Charlotte's not that great. But 42.95, we're not doing that. So very comfortably right now for me at a mid 43 and I'm happy with that as a pace. I think that's, again, where I can comfortably run consistently. and. We don't have the extra half a second or so to get where Tommy's at. That's why he's the one car and won the pole and is driving away. And I don't think that if I would have won the pole, that would have even changed. So we're not missing anything here. Trying to get that straighter launch off of the hairpin. And it's working okay. I'm not sure if it's good or bad. But again, it's replicable for me and feel comfortable with it. So there is one car that we could catch the lapper there of the number six, which unlikely to catch but if he does have an incident or flips or something could be a track blockage that could be interesting so I gotta not flip myself there on the sausage curbs that'd be awesome just not try to get too much here when we're not going anywhere so we need circumstances at this point so let's not beat ourselves please and thank you all right Still cruising along nicely. We will get popsicle sticks here, two to go. Of course, there is no flag man in Rallycross, no popsicle sticks, but still two to go as I plow the absolute shit out of the hairpin there. We are losing time to Tiago behind, just cruising around here. But uh, again, it is what it is, not concerned at all. Lost probably half a second there that last lap. As the track gets slippery, of course, we're gonna slow down a little bit, but not too bad and only 10 laps with only a couple cars running around so there we go that was in nice and easy awesome white flag credit one bank Nice quick race, quick video. 42.6 for Tommy that time. We're not matching that by any means, so. Happy with the result. P2 is where I thought we had pace for and where we probably should have finished. And we got a little bit lucky not having to fight wheel to wheel with Tiago. He made that mistake, unfortunately, but the result is the result, so. Happy with P2. We'll gain a couple of irony, probably not much, being that the one car is not too terribly far ahead of us, only a field of six, but. It'll be a good result nonetheless. Good race, Tommy. Good race, everybody. Thanks. So, just a nice cruise race. No pressure. Nice and easy. P2. Happy with that. Didn't have a contest for the win at all, so we'll take a nice solid P2. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, we got this guy flipping or what was that? I just saw. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but regardless, we'll wait for these other couple guys to finish up. And then we will be on our way. We're already at the 499, so I'm not concerned about SR. But you can never have too much extra, so. There we go. Everybody's done. Pull off. Oh, there's a flag, man. I guess I never realized that. I mean, it makes sense, but. You know, there's not a guy there controlling the race with his flags or anything. So just the two extra Tiago, clean race. Um, he just had that incident, that spin, whatever happened to him. That was the only incident of the whole race. So happy with that. One, two, three, finish one, two, three. What was this Homestead race? Oh, it didn't go official. I was like, what? Did, I don't remember this at all. Okay, I was like, did I miss something? <laughs> all right, so I do need to run the Kia at some point. I didn't get a chance to run this one because it didn't go official, but... Uh, let's close out all these random 
sessions and we'll check our rally cross results. All right. So 2K SOF gained another 20, 31, 52. I'm happy with that. Um, again, could have been 50 if we could have snuck out a win there, but we did not have the pace. Uh, only car within a second of where Tommy was at. So he had plenty of pace in hand, was very, very fast, very talented. So keep our 499, obviously, with the 0X. Very happy with that. And uh, just a nice, quick uh, quick race, a lot of fun, and always enjoy some good rally cross. So that's going to be it. Make sure you drop that like and the sub down below. Don't let you miss any of the action from Iris and DSP Top Pursuit 2, NASCAR Dirt City, Tone, the Camaro content, anything else I may post. We're uh, clicking right through this, and uh, yeah, we'll see what else we got coming up the rest of the week. Hopefully, some fun stuff. So appreciate you all as always. Till next time. Bye right, bye.